You don't need a fancy art studio to be a successful artist slash YouTuber. I don't anyway. Can you believe that someone once told me that people who paint at their kitchen tables are not real artists? So today I want to reassure you that you can paint at any table and still make great art. Let me show you the Ruby Tuesday Art Studio. Alright, so I'm literally showing you my house. Oh, I have been an artist for several years. Um, so I have worked pretty hard to get a studio as snazzy as this. So let me show you through the living area first. Uh, you can tell we have kids because there is a pram in here for literally no reason. It's been there for a week. Hi, chair. Um, washing. More washing and like literally a gate around our TV. So yes, we do have a toddler. Um, and here is our dining area and behind it is our desk or should I say my desk. So you might recognize this from YouTube because this is literally where I sit and record. So I sit here at the kitchen table or dining table, whatever you want to call it. Will always gets confused when I call it a kitchen table. So I sit here at the table with this set up behind me, obviously without the junk on it and I record for YouTube. So this is where I sit and I will paint for commissions. Theoretically, I would sit here and do that. Um, I keep looking in the wrong spot because I usually film with my camera and on my phone. But anyway, so theoretically, I would sit here at this desk to do my paintings, but I actually will often set myself up here at the table so I can watch TV at the same time. <laughs> so yes, I have a snazzy art studio, am I right? Um, I've never said that like that out loud before. Anyway, um, so the main thing is I have a table and I have a chair. This isn't even a good chair. This is like, I literally bought that chair for $5 at a cafe that was shutting down. I do have a good office chair, but that's in our study nook where I do like admin and stuff. So I will literally sit in a $5 chair at a $50 table that I got on Gumtree um, and record for YouTube and paint my commissions and um, like I literally earn my living sitting at my kitchen table. So um, I just thought I would show you that and I guess almost end up ranting about it. Um, but I do want to show you one other significant place that really impacts my art practice and productivity as a business owner. So I'll show you that now. Obviously don't do this very often because my hand is hurting from holding my phone, but I'm gonna show you my kitchen where I make my tea. So here's our kitchen. Um, I actually, I just need to show you these tiles because um, I just tapped, I literally just tapped on the tiles to try and put them in focus instead of tapping on the screen. Um, but how cool are they? Excuse how dirty the pot is, but our house was built in 49. Anyway, here is our kitchen slash tea making facilities. It is a mess. I'm trying really hard to be more authentic and like, you know, the whole Instagram versus reality thing. It is hard for me to be doing this and showing you the fact that we're thawing out chicken. Like I'm just leaving that there, I'm leaving it in and I'm looking at the wrong part of my camera again. Anyway, I'm gonna show you where I make my tea, which is literally my life force for my painting, creativity, and running your business. And then I'm gonna show you one more place that I work all the time. Um, and yeah, it's just one of my favorite places. So while that's brewing, I'm just gonna show you one of my other favorite places to work. Very important part of Ruby Tuesday Studio. Uh, Ruby Tuesday Art Studio. Uh, a very important part of running a successful art business is a couch. I work on my couch all the time. It is not ergonomic. It's not even necessarily comfortable, but I sit here with my laptop and do my admin instead of working in our specially created study nook. Sorry, Will. Um, and yeah, I sit here and I do my work. So yeah, I do not have a dedicated art studio space. I have a living area. Um, and I have a kettle and a teapot and that is all I need and I guess art supplies But my point is you don't need a fancy art studio to make great art I don't have one and I run an art business So now that you are hopefully feeling really excited and inspired to get painting Wherever you are on whatever flat surface you might have I've got a playlist ready for you 
right here. Hopefully I'm pointing in the right spot. You can get started literally now.